Hey, hey, hey. Mm, mm, mm. What you got to say? Hollywood. Hollywood swinging. With the puppies. With the puppies. With the puppies. With the puppies. Hey, welcome back to week two, Ravens Roundup. First uh, first installation of the Ravens, uh, Ravens Roundup is going to be Marquise Hollywood Brown. He finished with uh, eight catches for 83 yards, a big third down catch. Uh, on the season, he has 12 catches for 223 yards with two touchdowns. And uh, I just want to get into the little nuances of the things he's doing to, to kind of have a good to great first two weeks in the NFL, especially since he hadn't really played at his top speed since like the um, maybe the Big 12 championship game or maybe even before then because the game against Alabama, he was not full speed. But let's dig right into uh, Marquise Hollywood Browns first, well, not the first two weeks, but this last week. I'm going to go through all of his catches but one and we're going to finish with his big third down catch. Now I have him spot shot over here so you can see where he is. Okay, so now I have my, my big cursor back. Right here, you'll see Hollywood Browns right here. He's gonna run the over route, which if you follow the cursor, I kind of give you a preview of his route. He's gonna let this guy clear, and he's gonna work to this big open space right here. Big enough for a, a nice game. Let's let it run. Nobody's threading his leverage. So once he clears this guy, now he can he can work this great huge opening right here. That's gonna kind of be cleared out by I think this is Hurst. Hurst runs through the through the zone and clears it out. Now he just has to come through and find, you know, find a good pocket and wait for a good ball. Simple. Hurst and I don't know if this Boykin or whoever this is cleared all this out for him. He came across from the other side of the field, being fast enough to do that. And you know, just a simple, great, great play design. Nothing he did, you know, extravagant, no nuance route running. Just great play design, and he made the catch and got a nice game. Play two. You're seeing a spot shot at the bottom of your screen. Got boiling motion. Just a little quick out route. None, none fancy, quick out route. Speed out. I get seven to eight yard speed out. Let's see. About seven, eight yard speed out. Uh, guys way off. He threads the leverage, you know, bursting off. And so he gets in his back pedal and he turns it out. The guy's still back pedaling, looking brown on the out route. That's how you know he's threatened by his DB, hit by his speed. And this guy, this kid's a rookie too, if I'm not mistaken from the broadcast. This kid's a rookie also. But great burst out of your route, like you're making it like a vertical. Look how low he get, full speed, full speed, speed out. Now that guy is all the way turned around. The ball is halfway to him before he now decides to turn around and react to it. Simply because he's threatened by his deep speed and he ran a good clean speed out. On the next play, spot shadow. He's in the, he's number three guy. Number three guy, and this is kind of the, the gadget stuff that we can do with him. Um, and it's just, it's, he's a weapon. You can put him kind of anywhere. You can play inside and out, which I said that before. And uh, he can do, you can do all these things I'm about to show you. Just run a little quick out. It's number to pick route, real route. That's all it is. Real route is, um, I think this is Hurst. He's going to go block. Whoever this outside guy is going to go block. And the ball has to be out of Lamar's hands and into Hollywood's hands before they make contact. Because then it's pass interference. So it's just simply a rub route. Because if you notice, look at Hurst and the other receiver. They never run routes. They go straight to blocking. They kind of fell off the ball and go straight to blocking. Now, got hat on the hat, hat on the hat, and this guy in chase mode. And he gives him the business. Whoop. Mm. But I, what I love about it, he's not taking hits. He know he's small. He ain't trying to play the big boy role. He is not taking hits. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Uh, you see him again coming in motion. Head toward the top of your screen right there. 
That's Hollywood. And another quick out. Nothing fancy. Threading the guy with your speed. Turn it out. You got all the leverage. All the leverage. As long as the ball's on time, you should be good. Good ball. Well, that's not good. That's not a great ball. Good enough ball because of how open he is. Not a great ball. He's able to catch it, turn, realize nothing else left. Let me get out of bounds. Again, not taking real hits, which is key. This guy and this guy don't need to take real hits. I don't care what they got to do to get down safely. Don't take real hits. There you go, spot shadow. He's in your, your slot right here. I think that's him and Boykin. Just run the bubble. Run the bubble screen. Now, what's going to happen is um, one of our tight ends, I think this is Hurst or maybe Boyer, he's going to come out and try to get leverage on this guy right here. Boykin's going to try to leverage this guy, and we're going to try to get Hollywood to outflank this guy in the box right here, this linebacker. Now, for, uh, boy, stop, now boy. Boykin stops to block this guy because he's the first threat. Wow. A Hirsch throw. Who was that getting out there? I can't tell. Just trying to get out there also. So we end up losing a blocker because two guys blocked the same one. But because of his ability to make people miss, look how he snatched that ball out of the air. Snatched that ball out of the air. Didn't get his eyes up field. Snatched it out the air. You can see, I can see his head moving. I don't know if you can see it from there. I can see his eyes on the ball. Now it's eyes on the defender. Just that quick. Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the defender. Just that quick. Ball. Defender. Ball. Defender. Now, with that being said, the guy that's splitting the double team, which he did a great job of splitting it, make you miss. Now you set up because now you still got a blocker here. And if you make this guy miss, you got a big game, but which I don't think he does, though. You get tripped up a little bit. Still goes down, but doesn't take a hard lick. And gets make something out of nothing because that could have went for negative yards. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film Then More Film, or Fruit Tomatoes and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on t shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. Coming in motion at the bottom of your screen. Bottom of your screen down here. Just the now screen. Just the now screen. A safe throw for Lamar. A high percentage throw. And if he can make a guy miss, it's extra. If he can make a guy miss, it's extra. You got um, Andrews coming out here to try to get the corner. He ends up blocking the guy, that, the safe that kind of goes with him. So he ends up being blocking first threat. Now, it's up to... Marquise Brown making guy miss. If you make a guy miss, it's a long game, maybe even a touchdown. If you don't, you ain't lost. I mean, you, you gained like two or three yards. You haven't lost anything. So he can't make this guy miss. Actually, a great tackle. I remember this in the game. Great tackle. But it's a two-yard game. We go from second. It was second and one. So we get the first down. On like a two, three-yard game. But if he makes that guy miss, look at the sideline he got to work with. If he makes that guy miss. But he didn't that time. So that's a great tackle by the Cardinals defender. Now, the big play right here in the slot. Marquise is up here. It's third and, you see at the bottom of the screen, third and 11 maybe, third and 12 late in the game. This is when it had got kind of hairy. We were trying to run the clock out. And, uh, you know, conventional Baltimore would just run it, let the defense, you know, try to hold it. Not this time. Y'all basically going to get a, a, a fade from the slot route, a slot fade. They're right here. They're in man. Uh, we see one high safety, so uh, I think it's man free. Uh, he has this guy. He has Hollywood trying to press a little bit. Um, this linebacker-ish guy has the tight end. And he has him. He has him. We're into there man free. So now we're going to. This is. <laughs> it's funny because I'm just realizing who this is. This is um, Ricard. This is Pat Ricard out here. And because he's just standing here, this guy has to respect him. And then watch how much space it creates just because Pat Ricard is standing here. Now, because Ricard is standing there, you, you don't really want to 
disregard him. He's all this space is open for this slot fade. And all Hollywood has to do is beat this guy. And Lamar throws a dime. Throws a dime. Boom. Right there. Outside shoulder. Kept him in, kept him in bounds. First down. And it's pretty much still a game. No, no special release. Just, hey, I'm finna run past you. Didn't stack, which, you know, ain't good. Which is not good. Like, again, no special release. I'm just gonna run by you. And Lamar tried to give me a good ball. Which he does. Who's just giving up pressure? Zeus. Who's giving up a little pressure? Lamar stays in there and fires it. No, a lot of pressure, not a little. Drops it right in the bucket. Drops it right in the bucket. And to me, this is still the game. This is still the game. So what you're seeing from, from Hollywood mm -hmm. is he's not doing a, a ton of things special in his routes because people are so scared, so terrified of his speed. So he's getting quick outs, hitches, a lot of free releases because people don't want to get ran by, which what happened here. He didn't get his guy any kind of moves. He just put his head down, you know, outran the leverage and just outran the guy. And he got a great ball from Lamar. So, um, with that being said, he's he's at, he's gotten 223 yards in two games. That's 100 and what? 111 and a half yards a game, which is, is great for a rookie. But you still haven't seen all the Hollywood Brown can do. This kid can run routes. And, and what I've showed you today is not – Indicative of his route running because they they were simple. Nobody pressed him. He didn't have to do anything extra in his routes. He just was able to outrun people because they're terrified of his speed. And with that being said, Chiefs are coming to town this weekend. I don't think they have a guy that can can run with it. I don't. So shootout coming. Hopefully we can you know maintain and score and hold them and get some get a few stops up in there. But shootouts coming Sunday. Be ready for it. And again, it's Coach Evans uh, with week two of Sip the Talent Presents Ravens Roundup. Marquise Hollywood Brown is cleared for takeoff. Uh, if you left your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a couple days.